And then here's a, an application of differentials. Suppose that you've got a cube. Mine doesn't quite look like a cube, but we'll just have to pretend. So all of the side lengths, let's say, are x. So the volume is 80 cubic feet. So the volume is equal to x cubed. And so if we use that the volume is 80 cubic feet, we could even find out what x is supposed to be. Take the cube root of 80. So math, the cube root of 80 4.309 but because a human being did the measurements and were not real precise it could be off by as much as 0 0.01 feet so 0 0.01 so this could be a 319 or it could be a 2999 so there's some error in here so that's saying that the dx, or the change in the x, could be off by as much as 0 0.01. So then, how's that going to affect the volume? So we could look at the volume, instead of just looking at it numerically, we could look at it as a function, because the x, in a way, could be changing. And then take the derivative, and we'd have dv how much the volume changes depends on 3x squared and then dx. So there's our equation with differentials. And we've got this is a 0 0.01. We've got this is a 4.309. And so then we can say the change in the volume is approximately 0.4. So 3 and a 4.309 is squared times 0 0.01. So it could be off by a little more than half a cubic foot. And if this thing was to be filled with gold or something like that, then the owner of the gold is going to be saying, hey, where's my extra half a cubic foot of gold. I want my gold back.